How's it guys? Welcome back. I'm Gus the African Plant Hunter. It's great to have you with me. Um, this is my third episode actually on this plant, Myrothamnus flabellifolia, the resurrection bush, seen here in its desiccated form. Um, if you haven't watched the previous episode I did on this, which was called The Remarkable Compounds of the Resurrection Bush Myrothamnus flabellifolia, then you should probably go and watch that one first because that gives the background to everything I'm about to say. What I'm going to tell you now is how those compounds interact synergistically within skincare formulations that use an extract of Myrothamnus flabellifolia. So if you're ready to watch that, you're in the right place at the right time. Let's go. The trehalose that's found in here, um, it's not an antioxidant as such, but what it does do is it uh, protects the cell membrane um, from any form of damage um, during associated with uh, what they call the environmental um, effects of aging or the environmental drivers of aging. So, uh, smoke, uh, pollution, etc. All of that stuff that naturally during the, the course of the day when you're walking around, um, your skin is exposed to these um, environmental conditions that lead to premature aging. So the trehalose in here will protect your cells against that. Then the arbutin, what's that, what that is doing is protecting um, the lipids in your skin cells from peroxidizing um, and which, of course, again, a, a, is a cause of premature aging. Um, so oxidation is really the primary process through which our skin starts to look older. Um, and anything that can prevent that, that's why there's such, such a lot of excitement about antioxidants and free radical scavengers and so on. There's another thing, of course, which is that arbutin is an inhibitor of melanin. Now, melanin, uh, which is a response to sun, um, so the sun is probably the primary cause of uh, premature aging on our skin. It, it promotes oxidation. Um, and uh, production of melanin in your skin as a response to that leads to very uneven coloring in your skin. Um, and many people don't like to have that. So when you want to even out your skin tone, something that inhibits melanin is very useful. So... What we've got here is a single plant which, put into a bioavailable format for your skin, has the potential to protect your skin against environmental damage um, and, and premature aging, uh, to allow it to rehydrate quickly, effectively, and without any damage, and to promote a much more even skin tone. So it sounds like a bit of a wonder plant for cosmetic science. And there is a lot of research ongoing. Some major international cosmetics companies that have got some patents on various extracts coming from this. Very, very, very interesting. I personally have been involved in quite a lot of the work with this. Um, it is one of my favorite African medicinal plants. Uh, it has such extraordinary and phenomenal characteristics. And I look forward to being able to point you guys in the direction of some skincare products that use it. Um, there aren't any or there aren't many at the moment on the market, but they're going to come. They're going to come within the next couple of years. And I hope that that will mean that you, wherever you live, will be able to harness some of the amazing healing properties of this incredible African medicinal plant. I'm Gus, the African plant hunter. It's been fantastic talking to you about Myrothamnus flabellifolia, one of my favorite plants in the whole world, known otherwise as the resurrection bush. I'll see you again later. Take it easy. Bye.